Hello, this is Andy Welfley, editor of woodclinch.com in partnership with Wood and Graphite. Um, I am here today with another uh, Field Notes unboxing video. Uh, today I have the uh, Coffee Origins notebooks. Uh, these are regular size Field Notes. It's the second edition to be sold by um, the Starbucks Roastery in Seattle. I have a coworker who went up there. Thank you, Julie, very much for picking these up for me. Um, I will open these up now. Uh, the previous edition was um, called the Roastery Edition, and it was one of the bigger sizes. Um, it was the like arts and sciences size, and um, with a lighter color wood on it. That was an amazing, beautiful edition. So uh, we have high expectations for these. Let's see here. Get this plastic off. I'm just going to take this belly band off. Uh, before I open it, let's take a look at this belly band real quick. Um, if you can see right here, uh, it looks like all three of these editions have different uh, page layouts. Uh, there's a grid. Oh yeah, I'll use a pencil here to point. There is a grid, there's a line, and a dot grid paper. So let's see how these look. Set this aside. Fan these out. Um, here are the three colors. We got a beautiful green with a yellow printing. Um, red with a light blue printing and then blue with a yellow printing. Um, picking these up, the paper is kind of plasticky. Um, I would say something close to maybe like an expedition. Ooh, wow, look at this. Um, well, actually, before we do that, let's, let's look at the back. We have um, three different countries represented, each one where a lot of uh, coffees are grown. Um, the green was Asia Pacific, the red one is Africa, and the blue one is Latin America. Um, I won't bore you by reading through the whole thing, but um, we'll maybe explore them um, in a little bit here. So yeah, um, it looks like the inside is, the colors are the inverse of the outside. Um, so the one that's red and blue, it's uh, blue and red inside here. Um, I'm going to turn to the back real quick. Looks like the uh, Mount Prospect, Illinois eDoc Communications printed the covers. Um, I know that I've seen that name before, but I can't readily say where. Uh, the cover is a 100 pound silk white with thick brute force application of two contrasting soy based Saphira inks, uh, which is very similar, I believe, to um, Unexposed in the way they operated. And in implementation, this is kind of the same as Unexposed too, but this paper feels a little bit more silky. Um, than an unexposed. I believe it's a little bit thicker too, but don't quote me on that. I'll have to check for sure. Uh, the insides are a 50 pound bright white um, Finch paper opaque with a one color application of Pantone Cool Gray 4 uh, soy based ink. So as you can see here, uh, let me get this up a little bit closer. Uh, it is very, kind of a light gray, uh, a light gray application in this graph paper. Um, the paper itself is pretty thin. It's definitely thinner than um, the 70 pound uh, paper they use like in America the Beautiful and um, like in, um, oh, what am I thinking of, America the Beautiful and Shelterwood. So um, let's put this down. Let's pick up this one. Um, just double checking. Yes, it looks like it's the same the same paper I uh, used all around. So uh, this red one, it looks like it's the lined. Um, has that really nice double line at the top for the header, uh, which is something that they use in, um, uh, I am just drawing a blank today. It's the one they used in this edition. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I really like that. It's a, just a nice kind of contrast, a nice way to set apart the header from the rest of everything. So if these two are uh, checkered and lined, this one must be dot grid. Yes, very nice. So it's a beautiful, brightly colored field notes. Um, in my opinion, it's not necessarily as just kind of like original and unique as the uh, original roastery edition, um, but still lovely. I then certainly less expensive to produce as well. Um, these are gorgeous and will make um, a wonderful addition to the collection. 
thank you very much for watching. Uh, find out more about on uh, woodclinch.com, find more reviews. Um, and also check out Wood and Graphite as well, woodandgraphite.tumblr.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.